Despite Metro Vancouver's reputation as one of the country's most bike-friendly places, there is still conflict between drivers and cyclists. And more, with more cyclists hitting the road in this uh, warm weather, we're taking a closer look at some of the rules of the road. Richard Chang with Diamond and Diamond Lawyers is joining us now to go over some of those rules. Uh, now, from what I understand, drivers and cyclists are pretty much the same when it comes to the road. Yeah, under the Motor Vehicle Act, uh, the drivers and uh, the cyclists essentially have the same duties and obligations that a driver would um, under uh, when they're using the roads. All right, so that means no riding on sidewalks. That's correct. Uh, and for many reasons, it's to keep the cyclists safe uh, because you just don't know if cars are pulling out of alleys or you're at risk to pedestrians. So the act prohibits riding on sidewalks. Uh, what kind of problems do you see a lot in terms of maybe collisions between cyclists and, and motorists? Well, at Diamond and Diamond, we get a lot of cyclists that call in to um, our office because they've been involved in accidents with uh, motorists. And you'll see a lot of uh, cyclists who are hit by cars either at intersections and sometimes even cyclists hit by cars who are opening their doors. So what should we keep in mind to prevent those incidents? Uh, well, to prevent the incidents, cyclists should be aware of the various uh, provisions under the Motor Vehicle Act that uh, they are obligated to follow, and also just being respectful uh, both of drivers and cyclists of each other when using the roads. All right, so we mentioned uh, not riding on the sidewalk because we're supposed to be using the road or a bike lane, as is uh, designed for yes. cyclists. Uh, what are some of the other provisions that we need to be aware of? Well, cyclists should also avoid... The, the Act does tell the cyclist, don't ride in a crosswalk. Uh, other provisions don't hang on to a vehicle when you're riding on the roadway. Uh, not to ride abreast with another cyclist beside you. And also to stay as far to the right of the road as practical. Now, that doesn't mean going on an unpaved portion of the road, but staying to the right as practical. And that's also for your own safety of a vehicle to your left. Mm -hmm. And I think another one that we deal with a lot in Vancouver is a stop signs. Is that sometimes you see cyclists, um, you know, rolling through a stop sign, but they should be stopping. That's correct. Well, cyclists, again, have to have the same obligations that a driver would, and that means respect stop signs, respect traffic lights and other road signals. And what about uh, lights on your bike? Very great question. So the Motor Vehicle Act has provision with respect to the types of lighting requirements, and the Act specifically says half an hour before the sun goes down, up until half an hour after the sun comes out the next morning, you need to have a white light the front of your uh, bike that can be visible from 150 meters and a, a, a red reflector and a flashing light at the back. The other um, big safety consideration is wearing a proper helmet. Correct. The Act also has a provision, and I see at Diamond and Diamond lots of people coming in uh, who were in accidents and didn't wear a helmet, but uh, the Act does make it a requirement to wear a helmet. All right. Worst comes to worst, you get yourself involved in a collision uh, with a cyclist or you're a cyclist in a, uh, colliding with a motorist. What are the steps? What do you need to do? Well, if you've been involved in an accident, very important right from the get-go, exchange information with the other party that's uh, involved in the accident. Get their name, their contact information, obtain their license plate and driver's license information and insurance information. After that, it's important to make sure that you get checked out medically if you're hurt, go see a doctor, um, and also take details of the, moving back, take details of the intersection or where the accidents happened, mm -hmm. and report the accident to ICBC. If, if anyone's ever unsure about that, we're always happy to assist. All right, fantastic. So, so some rules of the road there. Remember, if you're cycling, you're pretty much just the same as a vehicle on the road. Uh, Richard, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.